have you ever felt stuck in your life? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Or blocked or something. Yeah. yeah. So a couple of years, I felt really stuck. I kind of felt my relationship was stuck and not going anywhere. My work, I felt stuck. And generally, in life, I didn't really know. And then on top of it, COVID came, and I was stuck in my house. And it was really hard for me. I kind of got angry and frustrated that I didn't know how to move and what to do. And as we do in times of struggle, we kind of start reflecting and thinking. And I remembered probably, I'm not quite sure, probably the first time in my life that I got stuck. And in that time, I got stuck together with my grandma, my grandfather, and my brother. And I'm really happy I got stuck with my grandmother because I feel from that first time I could learn something and that's the story I want to tell you tonight. So when I was little, maybe four to six years old, my grandparents once in a year would take us on a holiday, my, me and my brother. And at that time I was, I was wondering why didn't my parents come, it was so beautiful there, but I now can only imagine how they felt like take them, we can have for two weeks off for a while. Um, and my grandparents, they always took us to the same place in Italy, at the beach. We were driving, they lived in Munich, we were driving from Munich south. And my grandmother was a very organized person. She kind of had everything in control and overlooked everything. And I don't remember in these holidays ever anything going wrong, except one time. And that time, for some reason, in the other years, they had always organized a good time to drive when the roads weren't full. But that year, we kind of drove south from Munich at the beginning of holidays when half of southern Germany is on the road south. And we got stuck in a traffic jam. And when I say traffic jam, it's not the kind of one where you like stop and go and you're a little annoyed that it's slower than other times. It was stop. There was nothing going on. And it was a time where you couldn't check on your like phone <laughs> when the traffic would end or something. Traffic news were coming in every half an hour on the radio. And there was nothing moving. And we sat in this car, it was sunshine on the car, the kids in the bag, there were some children's stories in the cassette recorder it was then. Um, and I remember like we were getting sort of bored and one thing we really weren't allowed in that car is to put the feet in front, like the sitting in the back row, in front, because it was going into the back of my grandpa, and he would get really annoyed. So we were kind of like trying to hold ourselves together there in the car waiting. And then, because really nothing was moving, people started getting out of the car, kind of starting a news chain, sort of asking, does anyone in front know what's going on? And eventually it was clear, it's not going to go for a while. And what could have been a moment of stuckness that could be frustrating and adults kind of maybe being angry at each other who had the bad idea to drive at that time of the day, actually turned into one of my funnest childhood memories. My grandma, she went to the back of the car and got out of the trunk and ready made pasta salad and some sausages, and she took the two kids, us, and we kind of left the traffic, the street, and walked to the side, and there was a little grass patch next to the road, and we sat down, and we had some salad, she had like cutlery and little plates, and we were just having a nice lunch in the sunshine. And it was really fun to kind of, what, like, it almost felt a little bit like, I don't know if you ever, as children, hoped to be snowed in or something. Like it was that kind of thing of like, it's really fun here, like it's okay that we're not moving. And we were there for a while, and eventually we got, the people started getting back in the cars and there was some movement, and we got in the car as well and we drove, and the holidays were the nicest ever. But when, a few years ago, I got stuck, I remember that moment and I thought, oh, there's two things I can learn from my grandma. And one, I think I've mastered already, is wherever you go, always bring snacks. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one I'm still learning. But it's when you get stuck. And when you feel like there's no way forward, no way backward, there's nothing you can do. 
it doesn't make any sense to get angry or frustrated or disappointed with yourself. Why did you get up there? The best thing you can do is look around, take what you have, and make the best of the moment. And eventually, things will start moving again. <laughs>